Number 1 Buckhorn Exchange Located a stone's throw away from the 10th slash Osage light rail station, Buckhorn Exchange is an example of a bit of Denver history that's managed to remain intact despite more than a century's worth of changes happening around it. Hailed as Denver's original steakhouse, Buckhorn Exchange opened in 1893 and holds the title for being the Mile High City's oldest restaurant. Number 2 Bingo Burger Coloradans are increasingly setting their sights on the southern half of the state, an area that, until recently, seems to have missed out on the rapid growth and international attention its northern counterpart currently benefits from. Number 3 Biker Gyms Biker Gym, the namesake of the acclaimed Denver hot dog restaurant, is a real person with an origin story you'd expect to see in something like a hip new Netflix comedy. Long before he set out to serve Denver residents amazing hot dogs, Jim Pittenger was a repo man who, by his own estimation, confiscated around 12,000 cars throughout the course of his career. Number 4 Bo Joe's Bo Joe's tends to be a polarizing topic in Colorado, especially for residents who've recently located to the state. Are there true mountain pies delectable gifts sent from pizza heaven, or are they nothing more than heaps of bland dough served with basic pizza toppings? It depends on who you ask, but what isn't up for debate is the fact that Bo Joe's is a Colorado institution. Number 5 The Historic Mint The Mint might not be as popular as some of the other Colorado restaurants mentioned here, but it's a bona fide historical treasure and gives contemporary patrons a dining experience they won't forget. Move over, Mongolian barbecue restaurants, the Historic Mint lets you cook your own meat on a grill set in the center of the restaurant. Number 6, The Fort To some, The Fort is a hallowed culinary destination known for hosting U.S. presidents and delivering iconic Western food. Others see it as hokey and a tad inhumane for its practice of serving Rocky Mountain oysters, which, for the initiated, is a cheeky name for bull testicles. Number 7 Restaurants Inside the Brown Palace Eating at one of the Brown Palace's restaurants is a way to embrace Colorado's historical roots in a storied atmosphere you won't find anywhere else in the state. The Brown Palace opened its doors back in 1892 to accommodate the increasing number of travelers moving through the Mountain West at the time. Number 8 Illegal Pete's If you're up on your Colorado fast casual restaurant history, you already know that massively popular restaurants like Chipotle, Cadoba, Quiznos, Noodles and Company, Tokyo Joe's, and Snooze all started in the Centennial State. A new and exciting addition to this list is Illegal Pete's, which has 11 locations in Colorado and Arizona, with many more most likely on the way. Number 9 Restaurants at the Broadmoor Alongside the Brown Palace, the Broadmoor Hotel embodies a unique, luxurious Colorado spirit. But unlike the Brown Palace, the Broadmoor's history dates all the way back to the Civil War and boasts many more restaurants on the grounds of its sprawling resort, there are 11. Number 10 Casa Bonita Casa Bonita's food is not good. I'm not breaking any ground with this statement, but what's remarkable about this famous Colorado restaurant is that it continues to be successful despite its unfortunate and widespread reputation for serving up off-putting food. Peruse Casa Bonita's Yelp reviews, and you'll read through a torrent of complaints themed around terrible food being sold for an exorbitant price. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.